So a few weeks ago I made a video about some of my favorite macOS apps and that included things like Final Cut, Sketch and all of the other big tools that I'm using. But among these big apps there were also a few smaller utilities that are actually very important for my work and today I would like to give you a closer look at all of these smaller apps that I'm using every day on my Mac. And of course you can find links to all the apps I will be talking about today in the description to this video. So the first tool I want to talk about is called It's Wycal, if I'm pronouncing correctly. It's basically an app that replaces the stock clock and date that you may find in your menu bar with one that features the calendar so that you can simply browse through upcoming events as well as just click through the dates and see when you are free or not. And it basically just reproduces a feature that you can find in Windows computers. But since I switched to macOS a few years ago, I was really missing it and I was really happy after I found, uh, found about this tool. And what's also great about this app is that you can customize the date and clock to look however you want so that you don't have to rely only on this system setting. The next app I want to talk about has a very interesting name, it's called Amphetamine. And if you're familiar with tools like Caffeine, it's basically the same. So it allows your Mac to stay awake as long as you need it, which is great, for example, when you're downloading bigger files and you want your Mac to just continue working. And inside of the preferences of the app, you can also customize it to work as long as the disk is live or set any other custom triggers you may need to your work. And the app is available completely for free on the App Store, which is uh, the best deal you can find. Next utility is one of my favorite apps ever, and it's called Shifty. And it allows me to widely certain apps from True Tone as well as Nine Shift, which is great if you're using design tools like Sketch, Photoshop, and you want your Mac to reproduce the accurate colors. It's also great for things like color grading inside of video editing apps like Final Cut and Premiere. And basically you just have to click on the menu bar item and there you can disable True Tone and Night Shift for apps in which you don't want to use it. And you can also use the app to toggle dark mode and for me that turned out to work really well compared to the system setting that allows you to switch uh, between dark mode and light modes after the sunset. Uh, for some reason the system setting doesn't work that well for me and this app allows me to switch between these modes right after the sunset which is the behavior I'm expecting. The next app is also a menu bar app and it's called iTranslate and it's a very small translation app that lives inside of the menu bar as I said and it allows me to quickly translate short sentences from German to English and many other languages. It's not as good for translating longer things like for example DeepL uh, but it works perfectly fine for a few words if you have to translate them uh, very quickly. The next two apps are AirPods related and they both come from the same developer. And the first one is called AirBuddy. It basically gives you the same window for connecting your AirPods on your Mac that you can find on your iPhone and iPad. And besides that, it also gives you a today view widget that allows you to see battery level of all of your Apple devices connected to your Apple ID. So besides your Mac and your accessories connected directly to it, you can also see the battery level of your iPhone and iPad. And the next app from the same developer has a quite similar name, it's called Noise Buddy, and it allows you to quickly toggle between noise cancellation and transparency mode right on your touch bar, so that you don't even have to click on the sound item in the menu bar. The next utility that I heavily rely on is called Carabiner Elements, and it's an app that allows you to remap keys on your keyboard to do completely different actions. And I use the tool to do a very specific thing, which is remapping the caps lock key to F17, uh, which of course doesn't exist. And then I can use the caps lock key as an emoji button, which of course doesn't exist on the Mac, but also I'm not using caps lock at all. And an emoji key is something that I use very often. And of course you can access it using comment control space, uh, but I find clicking just one button much easier. The next app on my list is called Keyboard Cleaner and it solves a very interesting problem that only newer Macs have. So if you want to clean your laptop, especially its keyboard, even when it's off, pressing any of the keys is going to turn it on. And Keyboard Cleaner basically just gives you a black screen and you have to press Command Q to go out of it. And whenever you press a key on your laptop, it's not going to do anything which is perfect if you just want to clean your keyboard and don't bother with turning off your laptop completely. The next app is very important for me as a podcaster and it's Audio Hijack and it allows me to record audio from any app I want. 
and I can simply save it to a format I need for editing, uh, as well as record things like Skype calls, which are very important for interviews. And I saw on Twitter the other day that the app is used by Opera, which I think means that it's quite good, right? And last but not least is OneBlocker. And OneBlocker is a content blocker that uses Apple's own content blocker API. And besides blocking ads, it also blocks all the trackers and social media widgets that may track you uh, going through the websites. And I tested many different content blockers and ad blockers before, and this one is the best one I tried so far. So yeah, these are my top 10 favorite Mac OS utilities. And if you have any other smaller apps I didn't mention here, uh, but you also find them very useful, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.